Wide receiver. Uh, Justin Jefferson. I feel like, Ooh. Do you think he's a superstar Jamar Chase? already? Ooh, that's a good vote. Have I, they, has any rookies been on this list? I don't think so. Kyle Pitts didn't even make it. So yeah, I feel like they're not doing Jerry rookies because it's yeah. almost like they've been in the NFL and now they're ready to break Well, the out. next the next two aren't rookies either. So Okay. Um, wide receiver. Closer to home. Um, C.D. Lamb. Brandon Cooks. C- <laughs> did he play for the Texans? Did you just say closer to home? C. Closer to home. Okay, all right. C.D. Lamb is, in fact, and Corey, I know you saw another article. I can't remember where it was from offhand, but it talked about most likely first-time Pro Bowler with a specific team. They also mentioned C.D. Lamb. If I tell you right now, at the end of this season, especially with Dak back, C.D. Lamb is a superstar. What say you? Mike, if he has the numbers or if he has a couple of games where he has a couple touchdowns and 185 yards or something like that, tell me Sunday night or Monday night football or Thursday night football isn't featuring him. Like that's the that becomes the story is this is the guy that was drafted when everybody else was like, "Oh, you sh-, he just fell, he fell, he fell and look what he did and it's the Cowboys." Like it, it it's destined for that. Especially, and you know what? I think he can become this. I, I, do, I mean, I think it's, it's a 50 50 type of, type of deal that he can become superstar status. I'd say right now, off the top of my head, uh, leaving that status, Julio Jones, but I'd say Adams and Hopkins are superstar wide receivers. Is okay. there somebody else that you'd like to say? I mean, there, there's probably a couple more that, but off the top of my head, I feel like Adams and Hopkins are superstar wide receivers, but there can be more than just do you two. Still, do you still count like Julio? That's what I'm saying. Like Julio, I feel like dropped off of that. Okay, and then uh, obviously AJ Green not anymore. Right. Yeah, maybe that is kind of maybe that is kind of where I. What about? I mean, there's a lot of great do receivers. Put, don't do you get put me wrong. Diggs? Do you call him a superstar yet? After last year, or still He's no? Right on that line for okay. me. Like, would that I be the guy it. then? Because if it's not, if you don't think Stefan Diggs is a superstar, then that would be the guy I would pick over CD Lamb. You need to see two things from Diggs for him to be a superstar. That is, when people throw his way, the ball gets knocked down or taken. Right, like that's that's pretty much it. There's nothing, no other way to judge a cornerback. Well, he's talking about he's talking about brother. Oh, oh, Stephon wide receiver. Diggs. Sorry. Stephon yeah, yeah. Diggs, not- a, a superstar <laughs> wide receiver. Ooh. I think he's I think he's one of the most underrated receivers uh, in the NFL. I don't people so think maybe yes maybe I that's do. a yes. You still then. think he's underrated because I, I, I feel do. like after the what is it the Minneapolis miracle else who's a superstar and then and then the he trade became, specifically then he, became, he became second fiddle to Adam Thielen that next season though like but, even with that moment. But then he was also traded to Buffalo to become the best player in that and he, on that team. And he was and great. It coincided with Josh Allen become a significantly better I just, quarterback. I feel like I think, yeah. Buffalo is still kind of a place where it's like, uh, you know, it's just still Buffalo. Uh, but I think, man, I think he can be. I just Tyree don't Kill know. to me is a superstar receiver too. I, I forgot him. Okay, so I have three now that I'm for sure superstar wide receiver. And Amari's not the type. Amari's just yeah. Not, he's he's so good. He's one of those things that you're just like, hey, you know, that's my uh, that's my 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 Chevy out there. Okay, it's, you know, it's reliable. Always every, gets you every time yeah. I get into it. You know, it gets me where I need to go. Metcalf is close to superstar. Ooh, yeah, what do you think about DK Metcalf? DK Metcalf is he does everything off the field that makes him a superstar. I mean, he has the Gatorade commercial yeah. now. I mean, he's he's, yeah. he's entering that, and because he's a he's. Is he the freakiest human being we've seen at the position in our lifetime? I'm gonna, I think so, because I remember when they released his body fat percentage, a doctor said, that is not enough fat for you to be healthy. I did not realize that that was a thing that existed look, as a human. I look at DK Metcalf as the Iron Man Audi series. Okay. Uh, so that's where I kind of feel like he's on the cusp. He's super fast. He's got all these sleek qualities about him. CeeDee Lamb could be a Ferrari. You know, I think I think that's okay. the thing about him. All right. So that's what I'm, I'm I hoping I think he does for. have a chance. I mean, obviously, you have to have the quarterback stay healthy. and Line has to protect. Zeke can't turn the ball over all the time. Defense. It, the defense actually can can stink a little. For also, to still I be feel good. like for superstar wide receiver, too, the team concentrates on getting that guy the ball a yep. lot. And this team has so many different receivers okay. to get the ball to. Okay. But I think he'll lead the team in targets. That's just my opinion. I think he's going to be open most. Okay. 